Well, first of all, uh, in that legendary interview of 2005, when asked you about the King Cobra reunion, and you say that Carmine offered you 200 bucks to re-record Ready to Strike, and you declined. So, is that history true? Uh, no, I think it was less money than that. <laughs> less money than that. <laughs> but uh, I think he, he did that in uh, 2001, I think, not 2005. That's when we talked, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I, uh, I think that was 2001. He ended up putting out a record called Hollywood Trash, which I think sounded awful. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but of course, I wasn't a part of it. So, all right. So, and, tell me um, now with King Cobra, uh, what's the message to your fans with this comeback? Are you doing this to to prove you still rock, to try something new, to remember the old days, or? Um, I probably all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, I think that uh, I was never interested in doing a reunion with the band unless most of the original members were going to be present. Yeah. And I I knew Marcy wasn't gonna wasn't gonna do it. Um, she was not that interested in playing hard rock even back then. Uh -huh. But. Uh, but with Paul Shortino, I think uh, I think it makes a really strong group. So um, I'm really proud of the new album. I think it, it turned out really good. Much real rock, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, talking about the, 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 this new album, man, you can have a ballad like Crying Turns to Rain, which is great. And next to that, you can have a song like Screaming for More, which is total party hard, you know, so... How do you do that? Mix all those different kind of songs on an album and still sound it like a as a whole. Well, let me ask you: Do you think the songs fit together? Oh, uh, not together, but on the album, yes. Well, I mean, they sound like they could be from the same group. Yeah, I mean, the, the answer to the question is: I think when you get a group of really good musicians together, they can make any material work. And I think that we always had kind of a cool sound. We had, you know, five guys who were exceptional musicians and and who could play together and write songs together so pretty much you know we could do a ballad we can do a hard rocking song we can do a mid-tempo song a radio song it's still all going to sound like us you know what i mean oh yeah yeah things yeah well talking about money <coughs> i think that when you joined king cover and there was a kind of a fight because carmine got a lot more share than the rest of the guys so well, okay. I mean, nobody really made that much money. <laughs> <laughs> it's right, still well, a bigger, percent, bigger percentage of almost nothing, you know what I mean? <laughs> all right. <laughs> so how, how is it now that you guys have your careers in very big bands and everything? Carmen is still getting more than you guys, or...? Well, I think I think uh, the, the the legacy of all the people involved and the things they did after the band sort of speaks for itself. So so we we've we've uh, we got together an arrangement that's equitable for everybody. And and you know at, at the end of the day, we you know we still are friends after all these years. So.